Okay, so um, earlier today, you were telling me your story about how you ended up homeless in Washington, D.C. Uh, did you want to share that with the viewers? Yeah, um, <clears throat> I uh, went there looking for work, um, not aware of the conditions and um, the lack of employment they have there and, um, and basically just uh, favoritism, you know, because I wasn't from D.C., you know, uh, it was sort of hard to find employment, not to mention the homeless epidemic um, that was occurring due to uh, they would call it um, uh, gentrification. Yes. Uh, where they raised the rents and um, for uh, blue collar workers, you know, they couldn't afford their housing any longer. So uh, that raised the uh, it raised the uh, homeless um, numbers up. I mean, shelters were packed. You know, only other place if you couldn't find a shelter, you would, you know, you would wind up in sleeping on the street, which I did a lot. Um, but uh, I, I, I really didn't have any fear, you know, so I knew God was with me, and I slept in quite a few places, uh, Union, Union Station, front of Union Station. Um, I mean, when you say slept on the street. I mean, did you have cardboard uh, to cover yourself with, yeah. uh, blankets or what? Yeah, I had cardboard and sleeping bags and, and, um, and blankets, you know, that the uh, churches would uh, donate, you know, and give to us. There was vans that would come out and feed people that was, um, that was on the street. So, you know, and, and then, you know, um, there was other shelters, you know, that would allow you to take showers and keep your hygiene up. But I mean, other than that, no, I mean, it was, uh, it, it, it was, it was scary, but like I said, I didn't have too much fear, you know. Um, I wasn't scared, but I slept in a lot of, you know, on the street, on, uh, uh, uh one street is, is, uh, called First Street, I believe, and, right in front of Union Station, you know, on the statues and in front of uh, uh, the monument, um, where there's a little stage over there. I slept behind that stage. You know. Now, how did people treat you when, you know, street uh, people passing by, how did they treat you uh, when they would see you? Well, I mean, it's, it's basically, I mean, people, didn't really care you know you might have a handful of people that might give you a dollar you know give you something get you something to eat or whatever you know and, um, yeah I mean they really didn't care I mean in, in the morning they wherever you were sleeping they would just you know come over and kick you off the premises you know so um, it, it was it was it was drastic but bearable, you know, until, until, um, I got a call from my sister saying, call her and tell her to come out here to Ohio, but it was plenty of work, so, you know, but even, even still now, I'm still facing, um, a home situation, but I'm getting help for it, I just lost my apartment, you know, it was just due to a bad relationship. So, now, when you were in Washington, D.C., sleeping on the street, were you ever um, accosted? Yeah, um, I, I, I've been robbed several times. Uh, Did you try to defend yourself or not? No, I didn't. I, I didn't try to defend myself. I just let them have it. I mean, it wasn't worth it, you know what I mean? I just... When they walked off with it, I just said, I'll get more. Uh -huh. You know, I mean, it, it wasn't worth my life, too. And you said you feel God's protective hand was on you. Yes. When you were on the street. Yes, 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 and because it's, uh, it's just crazy out there. A lot of 
crazy people, a lot of drugs, mind altering drugs that just, you know, had folks just, you know, act, just acting crazy and a lot of weird stuff going on. I mean, it was like, you could feel it in the air, you know, and um, it just wasn't a, um, it, it wasn't a place for me, you know, I, I, I went there to, you know, try to see if I could uh, establish myself there, but it wasn't possible, you know, due to lack of employment. I mean, it just wasn't enough jobs. And if it was um, any work, it, j it wasn't enough to... Um, to live off of? To live off, yeah, exactly. So, you know, because the, the, the economy, the rent was so high, yeah. you would have to have two and three roommates just to support one place. Right. You know, that's a one bedroom apartment, you know, and, you know, two or three people in one bedroom apartment. Just, you know, so that's how high the rent was. Now, uh, when you were over there, did you try staying at the shelters? Yes, I stayed at a, uh, several shelters, but, you know, you only have, you know, so much. They'll let you, some of them let you sleep a night, some of them let you sleep a week. You know, and then they just be back out on the street. But they would uh -huh. feed you every day, though. That's mm -hmm. that was the only good thing. You know, you didn't. Now, didn't right now, yourself. you're staying at the shelter, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, what do you want people to know? People that are watching this video, what do you want people to know about being homeless? Um, well, all I can say is, uh, if you're homeless, just um, put God first and and keep hope. You know, there's you know, there's always a rainbow at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. Right. It is. There's always um, a means to an end. Mm -hmm. yeah, and because you know, there's a lot of criminalization um, in regard to the homeless. You know. So many people see a homeless person, and the first thing they think is. He must be a drug addict. He must be um, alcoholic. He must be uh, a wife abuser. You know, they don't realize that a lot of homeless people that end up on the street are good and decent people. Yes. It's just something, uh, some, some incident that might have happened in their lives. They might have lost a job. They might have gone through divorce, and or even a medical situation can really wipe you out. Yes, yes. And that's how a lot of people end up on the street. Yeah, um, I, I ran into a lot of those situations, you know, and, and not including my own. You know, um, I had left Virginia to because I, I mean the job situation wasn't very good for me there either. So. Uh, went to D.C. to try to see, you know, if I could, like I said, establish myself there, and um, it wasn't possible, so I came to Ohio, and um, and uh, I, I've been doing pretty good. I mean, I'm still in a homeless situation right now, but it's only due to, you know, a uh, uh, bad relationship, you know, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting much help. It's, mm -hmm. it's like when people think they're, you know, tearing you down and mm -hmm. uh, just thinking, you know, they putting you in a, in a bad a bad position and they really helping you because I couldn't be in a better position now at the Hope House. Mm -hmm. You know, they're helping me with that and, uh, resources. And, you, know, you also have to always remember to put God first in yes. your life because you could be in a bad situation but God is going to see you through these yes. difficult times, yes. right? Yes, yes, um, uh, and, and that's what, that's the situation with me. Mm -hmm. I, can, I put God first. I mean, I go to several churches and I, mm -hmm. I pray all the time. And uh -huh. um, God's been looking after me. He's been mm -hmm. looking after me. So I just say to folks, you know, put God first and, and keep hope alive and, you know, just, just have some, you know, some ambition and things, you know, mm -hmm. don't just fade away, just don't waste away. Because mm -hmm. life don't end. And, right. You know, still. Well, listen, I want to thank you 
for sharing your testimony and more importantly I want you to know and you already know this that God loves you very much right yes, yes. and he's gonna see you through this time and God willing you'll be able to move forward with your life learn from your past mistakes right yes and promise yourself not to repeat the same mistakes yes. that landed you where you are right now right? right right okay sweetie thank you so much for agreeing to share your testimony okay thank you.